Hello, my name is Katrina. I'm here to help. Today I want to talk about the psychic evaluation that I'm starting. Yes, it's starting now. Next Friday. Yeah. So it's been taking over a year. And for you guys who are new, I've been going through this uh, revelation phase of my life. And nothing has been working. And it's, um, I don't quite back get the big picture out there in the world so i'm taking things in my pace and small steps just um, like an <laughs> looking like an ant's life i feel very tiny but you know it's uh, my life and i try to balance it and you know if you've seen my earlier videos the family stuff hasn't really been working out it's all a big conflict and a lot of fights and I have uh, uh, given up contact with my brother, my father and now I recently uh, reconnected uh, with my mother and uh, well it's it been good that it's been some years because I've been maturing and um, I have no longer the anger that I had when I was younger so um, I've been very angry at the system and I've been very angry uh, with the uh, the years I've been out of a job because it leaves you, uh, in Sweden there's a good word for it, utanförskap, you're basically left outside the society, you don't take trips basically, you don't um, join in the social life because you're unemployed and that's uh, big um, problem because you don't ever have any money else for just getting uh, getting the rent paid the food so that's why i'm not going back to being unemployed because that's um, a big hassle now it's um, working out i get uh, my monthly salary and i have a social a social group at work that we are more uh, more joining into special projects together, if you can call it that. We are just working as a team. So uh, this helps me in a way that I can buy the food I like, but still I live and uh, just barely have enough hours to get the cleaning done. And uh, it, this, um, before I even started the psychic evaluation has been going over a year. And now, in the beginning of the month, when I spoke to the um, medical people, it was two to three months before I could get into the start of the investigation. And now it's one week. So in the beginning of the month, the, the correct answer would be barely a month. So uh, I'm really confused about this. And I've been to one other facility where they sent me to this one. And now when we uh, arrive here, I'm actually doing the evaluation via an app so it's uh, it's very confusing because then they could have uh, one queue to these evaluations in all of the country but they don't they have i don't know how many queues how many facilities there are but uh, we have this guarantee for healthcare in sweden that's 90 days and if we don't get the care we need we can uh, do something but I think that's been really uh, watered down because it's uh, now that you can choose another queue and you don't know how long the queue is. So you, you can just uh, flip a coin or yeah, just throw a dice and see uh, which number you will get. It's just uh, the chances are uh, not 50-50 as in a coin. I realized that when I said it, but it's uh, yeah. So I stayed in the queue though, where I was, was at, and and I just, I don't want to take the, the <laughs> I don't want to gamble with my life like that, that I'm waiting longer, and it's just crazy. And I um, now have gotten the, the first session on this Friday, so we'll see how that works out. I um, have a recommendation for somebody who is in a similar situation as me, and don't get any special projects when you have been talking to the healthcare system because it's, uh, for me at least, it's energy draining to do anything else than the 
uh, chores and the uh, getting back and forth work, the commute and its uh, social gatherings on top of that is just uh, a bit much. So uh, yeah, and this weekend they are celebrating my mother's birthday and I um, I don't like birthdays because it's a... Uh, it's something that's just you have to do stuff I don't really understand and it's um, quite confusing and there's a uh, disrupting my routine and I don't like that so uh, she was quite uh, apologetic because she said that uh, I didn't invite you and no you shouldn't because uh, well I, I don't like it I spend my uh, birthday uh, off work uh, just doing my own thing So uh, that's uh, how I do it and uh, her family wanted uh, her to cook a big meal and my mother has scoliosis and is really hurting when she stands inside cooking. She's been cooking for me until I yeah, at least turned teenager and uh, she can't really do that anymore. So now she hopefully i don't know what they're doing but uh, hopefully outside and uh, barbecuing because that's the easy way to cook it's just food that's my opinion and that's also hers so yeah um this was first growing up it's uh, easier to uh, to endure the relationship now because now i'm older and more mature and I didn't get the uh, correct help when I was younger, so that's why I could have maintained these social uh, bonds that uh, I was born with. Um, so if I wouldn't have gotten my degree when I was a child as she wanted, perhaps my uh, life would have been different. So I, um, I quite feel that this life I've been living is uh, um, what I was given because I didn't get the evaluation before. So uh, they ruined that life for me, but um, that day, I mean, the, the people who did, my father was one of them, but um, that was the law then, if one parent was um, against getting a psychic evaluation, they could stop it. So he did on the last session, but now I'm an adult and he can't stop it this time and he's not involved. So. If I got that evaluation then, my life would have been different, but now I got this life instead. Um, I don't feel it's, uh, it's good to be bitter about it because I uh, choose in the, the Buddhist way of uh, thinking about things and everything has a plan, so I'm here to learn and um, yeah, this life I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best at. And that's why I'm getting the evaluation, so I can get some uh, help at work to have a certain, uh, like my own office, that's what really helps, so I can concentrate my mind on my tasks. Yeah, uh, it's really hard to work out in the, uh, from a um, cubicle because it's a lot of noise there. Yeah, and we do have glass windows and the office I'm currently using, it's... Um, just you can take an office when you need, and I take the same one hmm, every day. It, we have the clean desk, but uh, the ones who worked there for a long time have their places, so it doesn't really work. A person needs a, a, a place where they feel at home, and uh, that, that's also good with, when you have a, like, a parking space that you have a certain number, you know this is your spot and nobody else's. That's uh, apparently good according to science for the brain. So with that, some updates about the psychic evaluation, how it's done in Sweden and what you can expect and uh, what I feel is have been much for me this year in waiting in a queue and uh, how you can uh, hopefully take something out of this information if you're in a similar situation and um, just know and just be patient that uh, hopefully there will be a uh, a release in the end uh, where I can get an answer that I can release my my um, my fears about losing my job I can get the paper that I need to get my separate office hopefully 
So that's what I'm hoping for and just have it written on paper that I'm not like everybody else. That, that helps, I think. Uh, as I don't like medications. I try to do anything uh, a natural way with uh, supplements and vitamins and all that. So, um, but that's your choice. Consult your doctor and that's what I've been doing and this is how far I've gotten. So with that, I want to wish you a good day. Bye.